Welcome back to it, your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso, live on SABC3. It's a Monday morning, you know what that means. It means hashtag Gospel Mondays. Now, an idea between two big dreamers morphed into the multi-talented band we now know as Almost Sunday. Now, this worship band believes that they exist for more than just musical creativity, but instead, they exist on a deeper level for the creator himself, which is such a big cause and a big thing to be rooted on or in. And of course, uh, you know, we are so blessed this Monday morning to have them in studio with us for our Gospel Monday performances. But before you know, they get ready to show off their unbelievable music talents, but also to bless us in that way, we get to know the band a little bit better. Guys, good morning, almost Sunday. So good to have you on Expresso. Good morning. Good morning. Guys, ah, this is so beautiful because I have followed you guys and I'm always stalking you know, what you guys are doing on your social media. But the journey has been such an interesting one that you guys, uh, where you guys started. Let's start there. A bit of history on this. Almost Sunday. Where did it start? How did it start? Who are the two big dreamers who came up with this idea? And then what happened after? Okay. Um, yeah, I think sort of from the get-go, it wasn't our plan to necessarily be a band. Oh. And we, uh, a friend of mine with Nathaniel, the two big dreamers, we learned to play guitar together. And often what happened was we would get invited to like lead you know, in small group settings, you know, with worship and, and things like that. And mm. before you know it, there was a sense of like, hey, it's time for us to like start something. Yeah. So we would often get to like small groups and, and you know, do music. I met Haley at university. Yes. And when I heard her sing, I'm like, Haley, like you have an amazing voice. Yes. You need to start something. And so, yeah. yeah, it's been a journey of six years now. Wow. And Six years. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are still together going strong. How did you come up with the name Almost Sunday? Was it a Friday and you were re rehearsing? Did you thought, it's not quite Sunday yet, but it's almost there? Or, or how did it come uh, about? Um, yeah, it's one of us. I wish there was a deeper story behind it. We just really thought it was a cool name. You can use um, my, my story. I think it works. Okay. It was a Friday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a Saturday night. And like, hey, we're going to start, so let's call it Almost Sunday. And so we just thought it was a cool name. I love um, it. But we love hearing people, you know, what they think it might mean or their versions of it. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. Worship is such an important thing for you guys as a band. You strive for worship and you do it so well. You connect us in the most beautiful way when you do do that. But now you've taken it to the beach as well. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah, so beach worship, um, we started in, was it 2015, 14? Yeah. Um, and again, it started with, again, Lloyd was part of the sort of dreaming that thing up with um, one of our friends, Keith. Lloyd the Dreamer. Yeah, let's Lloyd just the call, Dreamer. Let's just call him Lloyd the Dreamer. <laughs> um, and so it really, it really just started very small. And I remember the first one was really just a couple of us in between like a few rocks and we did it. And it sort of just grew over time. Wow. To the point that it's sort of this massive thing that people really look out, look out for every year or look forward to rather every year. I don't understand why it's still only happening once in a while. I think something like that certainly has to carry us into every weekend. Come on, guys. Sure. You know, good so dream many about people that. say that. Go dream uh, about that, uh, please, uh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now, um, we know that uh, you guys are going to be performing quite a few songs on the show today. Uh, which of the options that we've got up on our poll uh, are you guys uh, really enjoying and like sort of gravitating towards? Um, I think so we've got Good To Me, The City Is Yours, Come Holy Spirit, and Emmanuel. Uh, and I mean, the split in terms of percentages and the voice, uh, the, the voice that are coming through is quite something. Uh, you've got, you know, from 24% to 40% to 23%. Uh, where are we at? For me personally, I think The City Is Yours is a big one just because it's, it's almost taken off quite a bit and yeah. people resonate with it so much. So, um, mm. yeah, that's, that's the one I'm rooting for. Come Holy Spirit is right at the top yes. and it won. And I'm looking forward to having you guys uh, perform that. Uh, but Good To Me is off of your album. Mm. Let's talk about this album for a bit before I let you go. Yeah, that album, uh, it's called The Journey. Yeah. It actually talks about our journey as a band, yeah. mm. leading worship at different venues, different uh, capacity, different people. And the songs that on the on the album mm. are written by the band members. Mm. So we we were so honored to be able to like he said start from humble beginnings and to writing songs mm. for albums. So uh, good to me is just one of the songs that's on that album. Mm. What keeps you guys so humble? Um, I think it's we're just genuinely friends. You mm. know, it's not even like 
we're not we're not striving for sort of any accolades or mm. anything. It's really just a group of friends who really just love God and enjoy what we're doing. And yeah. I think that's pretty much like the anchor point. Yes. So yes. because that's the anchor, like w there's nothing sort of pulling us towards anything other yes. than just being true to our friendships to each other. But also true to the cause of worship. Of uh, it must do something to you guys when you are uh, on the stage or you are between rocks by the beach <laughs> and you see the impact of your music uh, and your worship that it has on people live when they respond and react to that, when they join in worship. How does it make you feel? It's amazing. We, I mean, when we started off, we did a lot of youth group invitations and to see actually young people singing out to the Lord and, you know, to actually see the sort of tangible changes that they're just, you know, singing praises to God. It's amazing. It makes you feel like we need to pinch ourselves that we get to be a part of this. Yes. And sing songs. And so it really encourages us to see people yeah. engage God in that way. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, you guys are going to be engaging us in music <laughs> here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And you can engage with it on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3. Remember to use that hashtag Expresso Show. It's a brand new day. We've all been blessed with another chance to live out our dreams today. Let's take it and run with it right now. Though it's time for us to run straight into the news with G-Man.